More young Italians are leaving their country due to the brutal economic crisis. Many say the crunch has brought with it an uncertain future. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg is on special assignment, and he says some fear the so-called brain drain will deplete Italy of its most inventive and motivated people. Giovanni Patrellini is studying architecture in Milan, but the design he's most focused on right now is his own future, a future perhaps outside of Italy. The situation right now doesn't look very good. It's not optimistic for us. Even the teachers keep repeating to us, go abroad, go abroad. In Italy, there are too many architects already. Indeed, Italy already has one architect for every 470 people. Per capita, that's five times as many as France. Giovanni, who also heads the Student Association at Milan's Polytechnic University, says his peers are increasingly disillusioned by a future in Italy. On these shelves are where the students' ideas begin, but most of them will never see the light of day here in Italy. Now, historically, Italians have always gone abroad, but usually it's been poorer laborers. Now it's the country's best and brightest. It's not just graduates who are leaving Italy. A growing number of firms are packing up and setting up shop abroad, mostly to save money in taxes. That's slowly draining Milan, Italy's financial and production hub, of its professionals. It also means fewer jobs out there, and those that are available have become fiercely competitive. For some in Italy's establishment, the youth are seen as a burden, potentially adding to an already high level of unemployment in a system known for protecting more senior workers. Many young Italians say if that's changed, they'd be more inclined to stay. Others aren't waiting. The idea of going abroad is linked to the opportunity to build my future. I'm convinced that no one has to give you anything in life. Nothing is taken for granted. Giovanni says you have to build your own road by yourself. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Milan.